Right, okay, so... What have we got, what have we got, what have we got? We have... I need... No. 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 I don't really have anything else. The lever is... The, le the lever is... The le Use everything the with it. Okay. Don't even know what we've got around us is the problem. What should we do next, Holmes? I'm going to send an explosive message to Moriarty. Okay. You frighten me, Holmes. Throw him in a bucket. No. What do you mean, no? Put everything in it. Perfect. I understand, Holmes. Fine. Leave everything. So we slide it along. We use the little belt as a loop. And we just push it down the cable, I assume, and use gravity. Um, and leave it. Right. Um. Ah, hello. No. It... What are you doing, Holmes? The manual emergency system is behind this trap door. Reverse. It works. We are safe here. Yes. There are only a few seconds left before. My God, what a shock! Moriarty, he was in the warehouse. This time, it's over, Holmes. The mysterious person whom Moriarty appears to obey. Whoever could be powerful enough to command Moriarty? You're gonna have to go back? Because yeah. whoever it was, was in the, uh, in the haunted house, weren't they? Oh, I thought it was us, kind of uh, someone jumping out at us. No. So let's go and investigate, shall we? The door is still ajar. The doors are wide open. Perhaps we are too late. I wouldn't say wide I open. I don't think so. I wouldn't say wide open. Please don't crash now. Oh, it crashed. <sighs> Let's try again. Resume. Where do we resume? Where do we resume? Here? Here? Really? <laughs> Ah, uh, let's redo all of that. It's so warm in my room. I don't want to stop, but I think I'm quite close to the end. I think that's got to be the end, blowing up my reality. All right. Perfect. Mm. Right, so this is just green, yellow, uh, green, yellow. I'm going to just wait for things to light up. Buckingham has been switched off. Brilliant. Okay, so now what have we got? Else we got? needs yellow. Actually, nothing needs yellow. So actually, let's... Hurry up, hot Scotland Yard. So we don't want that. So we don't want anything yellow either, do we? The Bank of England. Parliament. Oh, yeah. That's it, Hulk. You can use the switch. So that all switched off. The Home. Skip, 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 skip. Let me go ahead back, back, back. Da, 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 da. I don't know if I'm going to... I might leave this as normal, or I might just speed this up. The guys just because that might be more entertaining. Gone. Now's our chance. I wish I'd be entertained by my own kind of watching myself slightly sped up. So I might do that, or I might not. In which case you're all gonna be horribly disappointed by the fact I'm just talking about it. Yes, 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 yes. Home. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quick oh, I was further up than that. Yep, I know. Uh oh. No, no, they've seen us. Yeah, they've seen us. There we go. We send that down. They all blow up. What do you them? And pull the lever. And we go back to the top and things explode. We are safe, yes. Boom. My god, what a shock. The mystical cool web. Right, go, 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 go. <sighs> I'm gonna have to run to do all this editing. It's terrifying. At least it's not as bad as it could have been. For a save length I needed to play. I didn't have some horrible pause that I needed. Uh, some horrible kind of number puzzle or something I needed to figure out and... You know, little gamey thing that you've got to... Kind of... The doors I do kind of... Handle in the right way. Please don't crash again. Thank you. Where did he come from? He came from here, didn't he? This room. Touch that door. Get back. Damn you, Holmes. Damn you. So, you survived the explosion. Professor, put down your gun. I am going to examine your wounds. Don't come any closer. <coughs> I don't need a doctor. Yeah, you do. It is over, Moriarty. You have failed. Not entirely. Your death will lessen the defeat. We have failed, Holmes. You and I. In that case, I cannot imagine that you would refuse to answer the last question of the condemned. <laughs> A question? You can ask it of the devil, Holmes. Is Shieldman immune to his own poison? What? What? Oh, I see. Don't leave her alone, Holmes. <coughs> I always try to do my best for her. <coughs> Only you are worthy to teach her. Take her. What? What? Um... Okay. Oh. Oh. I don't know if my feelings could ever equal those of my friend. But as he walked off into the night, carrying that little girl in his arms, I confess that I had never seen him so moved. Holmes became the child's father. He gave her a gentle but exacting education. Finally realized, thanks to this child, 
the simple happiness that life could bring, and also something that had previously always escaped him, love. Well, there we go. So the O at the end, of course, was the, the little doll in Moriarty's room. Thanks into this thing. This is the credits, I'm assuming. Um, really not sure I see the point of the little side things they did. Like um, the, the, the kind of frame device of the kind of modern day story stuff where um, they uh, kind of got these kids who are finding out the history of their family, which isn't mentioned until the second time they appear, which is like, they only appeared like, if you include that time, three times. So it's almost like, what's the point of them actually um, being there? So it seems a bit odd. Also, the Devil's Daughter um, being the name game. Um, that ending actually felt like this was meant to be the last one. Um, it, it feels very kind of conclusion-y. Um, what with, um, you know, Moriarty dying and Holmes, uh, it feels like Holmes kind of having to stop being the pro consultant detective and it'd be very difficult to write um, the game because you, the next game, the next story is because you need to have her around if there are sequels to this. So this very much feels very kind of last-ish and that was the entirety of the credits. That felt very short. Um, still not sure I like um, what they did with Holmes, making him the, the kind of very... Um, very villainous character early on uh, for probably like um, the good majority of the game he's doing things that are very much out of character um, while they kind of explain it with that Holmes is, is trying to make sure that Watson thinks he's a villain so that it then comes across that he's a villain similar to kind of the, the um, uh, kind of the, the stuff at the Rock and Back Falls where Holmes reveals that you know I, di I didn't tell you because it would make it harder for you to um, act like I was dead. Um, so it kind of all kind of makes sense in some respect there. Um, from, I don't know. I think there were a few puzzles that seemed a bit um, unnecessarily arduous. Um, like that folding puzzle at the end. Like Not everything in it was clear. Um, so it took me a while to realise that there was that extra one that I needed to use. So um, I think... I think it's probably not the best Sherlock Holmes game that I think we've played. Um, I don't think it's the worst, but then again, we have played the Silver Earring one, which I think was very much a, ve it's a very different thing than the rest of these games that we've played. Um, big frustration with the um, camera. Um, what's the point of having the fixed camera angle what perspective? If that hides, that obscures parts of the puzzles, or some of the puzzles, especially some of the solutions. Like we had that a few times, where um, j things weren't visible. Um, you had to um, go into the first person, or the um, kind of third person modes. And the third person mode didn't work all the time. And speaking of not working all the time, this game crashed quite a few times. Um, at ran kind of seemingly a random, not well at random, not when it was being saved, but there were times when it would set when it would crash, one hour fifteen in, and there were times when I'd play a full session of an hour and a half and it wouldn't crash. And we had the one crash, um, kind of maybe the two and a half hour mark, um, and there were several auto saves between the hour and a half mark and the two and a half hour mark. So I, I'm not entirely sure I understand how this game was crashing, but it was. Um, so I think just. Looking at the software, I think there are still a few issues. Thinking about it mechanically, I think some of the puzzles weren't uh, brilliant and weren't clear, um, uh, or as clear as they probably should have been. Um, having said that, there are quite a few puzzles where it's like, oh, this is so obvious. Oh, this is what exactly what we're meant to do. Um, that, that we're going to use this item for this, and we're going to then do this and whatever. Um, narrative, I think, yeah, the framing device was a bit weird. I'm not entirely sure I see the point of it. Um, in having the kids find out about Holmes and Watson and what he's kind of quote unquote what he was really like, kind of thing, um, and I didn't like Holmes kind of being the grumpy grumpy grump because you didn't really need that for the whole kind of poisoning Woodville story. We only met Woodville twice 
once he was giving out the soup to kind of set that up, and once was at the end, um, I'd almost like a little epilogue. Like, what happened to Woodville? Uh, was he um, disinherited, for example? Um, it also seems a bit weird that I don't think... Just, just thinking about the kind of procedure of it. I don't think that um, if Victoria had abdicated, I don't think the, pu the public would have had the right, any legal right, in saying, we want this person to be the next king. I think it would have gone to the next in line, which would have been Edward. I assume at this point it would have been Edward. Um, Edward VII. Um, I, I, I think that just would have happened. It would have been Edward VII. Now, there might have been more pushing, but considering that... Actually, even even like the poison, the poison they die off after two days. Um, that probably would have put Edward in a position where he... Well, so Victoria probably would have had to abdicate on the first... Within the first... Probably after the first day. So you've got 24 hours. You've got 24 hours left. At that point, Edward is now, is now de facto king. Um... So he'd then have to abdicate, be put in a position to abdicate as well. I don't think this worked. <laughs> it's the kind of Moriarty's plan. I don't think that would have worked. Um, so this game obviously it sets up the kind of Devil's Daughter stuff. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's let's not let's uh, that one. I could actually do a little video explaining why I don't think I'm going to play that. I could do. I'll have to think about that. But yes, so there's the testament of Sherlock Holmes. We've done it. We've finished Huzzah. Um, yeah. I have been enjoying this. There's only one other than... I think of the Frogware stuff. Um, Frogware PC stuff. Other than... Uh, um, the one I just mentioned, Devil's Daughter. It's only the Awakened that we haven't done. Uh, I might do The Awakened. I have watched Pike play it, and that was rather entertaining. Um, so, I might still do that, um, although I have watched it before. Um, Devil's Daughter again. Don't think I'm going to do that. I may do a video for... If people want me to, I might do a video why I don't think I'm going to play it. I haven't played it before, and I do have it. But, I don't think I'm going to play it. Um... Uh, so yes, uh, if you want, me, if you if you do want me to make a video explaining why I don't think I'm going to play it, uh, please put in the comments that you want to see it. Yeah. Um, so yes. Um, yes. So I hope you join me for whatever happens next. Whatever. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for watching.